Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new New World video and today I have an updated build for you all. If you guys haven't seen the last one that I've put out which was the equip load in medium called the shirking elemental. I recommend you go take a look at that one before you go into this one. If not, watch this one all the way through. Your support is greatly appreciated. So it's updated, right? I've made some enhancements. It's still relatively the same. Some different gear has been swapped out, but you're, ki you're still keeping the same defense and possibly the same attack power. I would argue probably even more, maybe by like three, five percent more damage. But before we get into the actual build, I want to talk about the support you guys have been showing me, the watch time that you guys have been providing. Uh, I, I can't be more grateful than how I am right now. Actually, I probably could. We can get to 500 subscribers. I, we're almost there. So if, please, if you like what I do and the content that I create, please consider subscribing, liking down below and commenting down below. And that will motivate me to create more New World content for you all. So thank you guys, everyone, for that support. Now, the build. Let's go right into it. We are in a medium equip load of 21.8. We do not have the base damage of 15%, sadly, from light, and that's okay. We are rocking head, the headgear. We are rocking Great Helm of Frigid Dawn. Our crafted Spine Weave set. Frigid Dawn Gauntlets, which is not Biss right now. We got Biss Frigidon leggings. <laughs> and we got wing leather shoes. I really don't like the perks on the wing leather shoes, but it is what it is. The thing is, while we're using this, is because the haste. The haste duration is really, really good. And they added the 10% damage increase when you are hasted. Now let's go on to our bow. We have Bolt Caster here. And we took away Keenly Jagged for Keen Speed. And this is why we're using Keen Speed, because we're using wing leather shoes. We want to make our build more hasty. We want to make it just as squirrely as a light load, but maintaining this, a massive amount of defense in a medium equip. And then we're using our Electrified Rapier of the Ranger. I love this rapier so much. I actually unlocked something else that's a little better. Well, a little less better, but it is a named item and I can upgrade it. But it's about the same. Shirking Lightning is gone, but this one does increase that damage up quite a bit. So I want to keep it for now. And then we're using Life Ring. Alacrity, haste you apply, lasts 34% longer. And I know what you guys are thinking. Usually buffs on you can only go up to 50%, and that's the max. But when it comes to Alacrity, these durations do add quite up a bit. So these do go up. I don't know by how much or what the cap is. But if I didn't not have, but if I didn't have alacrity with the wing leather shoes, you would actually see a decrease in my time of haste. So they do work really well together. And then we have champion's ring and endless thirst. Also for our weapon mastery, we are using evade shot. So if you do land a shot, you gain 15% haste. If you dodge, you gain 10% haste for two seconds. This is increased to four seconds, possibly five. And we have Archer Speed, which is 10% haste for five seconds, which is increased from five to nine or possibly very close to damn near 10. And that's it for the build. It's essentially the same. You still, you still keep the same amount of fortification. Uh, in fact, ever since switching to this gear load or this gear set, I've actually increased my elemental and physical by at least 100 points. I don't know how. I literally don't know how. Um, but this is it right here. And it can go up to 2400 and 2200 physical and elemental defense by drinking a potion. And for the unfo undying focus, you can go up to 24 and 22, as I mentioned there below. So what do I mean by that? In the bow mastery right here, you want to grab this one. I'm uh, sorry, unbreakable focus, not undying focus. Uh, increase your armor by 10% while aiming. This is really good. So the combo, how do you gain the speed? Well, you can do it in one hit, in one strike, literally. So if you're getting pushed by multiple players, and I think I have some footage that I can throw up, throw up right now. Uh, people, again, think you're in a light equip load and they're just gonna push your shit in. 
but they're going to be hit with a huge kick in the throat that you are not as squishy as they think you are and you're able to just retaliate super super quickly against them and you could probably 100 to 0 their health pretty pretty quickly especially if they're an assassin type build where they have 50 con using a uh, spear hatchet yeah they're dead so that's the build let's get into the what makes this build a little different than the last one and that's the one-time combo you must land the combo but there are other options for you to get away of course um, so this is the combo if you're getting pushed switch to your rapier but quickly push switch back to your bow switching back to your bow grants you that 10% haste again you see that down there for 10 seconds so switching to your bow then dodging and landing an evade shot will crit granting you all those haste buffs down below just make sure to keep dodging when you're at 100 percent stamina to keep that haste going and that's pretty much it so we went around that whole tent in a span of a few seconds probably three or four all right so let's say you didn't land your evade shot but you switched to your bow and you shoot and miss you can still dodge and make sure you time your dodges perfectly when they do an ability of some kind um, you can at least gain 20% haste from just doing just that. So if again, if I switch to my bow and dodge, I'm getting 20% haste right now. And make sure you again, dodge again to keep up that haste from 100% stamina. Also, a big reminder, you have Zephyr Cakes inside the OPR match. Make sure you are taking those Zephyr Cakes. Again, your 10% damage doesn't proc until you get haste. So if you eat a Zephyr Cake, you gain 10% haste for 20 minutes. And it doesn't matter how many times you duck, it stays on as a buff for the duration of 20 minutes. So you will uh, you will always 100% activate the 10% base damage on winged leather shoes. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, kick names and take ass. Oh, this guy's really squishy. This guy's not very squishy. God damn, I missed. You shouldn't have left your friend behind. Now he's gonna die. I want I want you, I want you. No one else, no one else. Maybe we can finish this guy off? If we don't miss. He's zigzagging. Being pretty annoying, I think. Oh yeah, he's gonna die. That's an easy kill. Let's get this guy right here. I'm pretty sure we can one-tap him here. Yeah. He was half health already, but you know what I mean. Same, same for you. Same for you, same for you, same for you. Damn it. He dodged it. All right, that poison should kill him. Come here. I want to fight you 1v1 right now. You're scary. You have a lot of haste, though. I'm scared of you. Yeah, I'm pretty scared of you, dude. I'm lagging, by the way. Okay, he gave up. You're not that bad. I just rendered you fucking 50% of your armor. I can't trade with him. 
I can't trade with him. He, yeah, I'm dead. Good shit. He's not that scary, but he has a lot of pressure. Oh, look. We're right behind somebody that's almost dead. Should be dead. Thank you. Okay. You know, they're one of those players that like to stop people from playing. Okay. I wanted to kill you before this guy got me. Let's see if we can do it. Running shotgun. Blunderbuss. No, where are you going, dude? I'm lagging right now. Oh no, now you're gonna ask for help. Oh, he's back! He wants to smoke still. No? You don't, you don't want it? You don't want it? Get him. Got him though. Almost him. I got him anyway. Locked in, buddy. I'm locked in. And him too. Got him too. Come here. And that's about it, guys. That's going to do it for today. I got some pretty good kills. I think six kills the first game, maybe three the second, and 13 on the third. But some kills are from a pile, so I may not show those ones. I want to show off more 1v1s or maybe 1v2 scenarios. Don't think I got into too many of those. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Again, leave a like. Comment down below if you made it this far. And subscribe to the channel for more fun and interesting content if you guys haven't seen the rest of my footage or videos please i consider doing it because i think my videos are pretty entertaining and well made and without being said i will see you guys in the next video peace I'm gonna die by it oh it looks like that guy gets health I'm back from doing that are you gonna fight me dude or not I'll just 
just face tank that. But good stuff. Ha ha ha! 